I got Dr. Dollar back on the captain's log. Thanks for joining us, guys. I need to know, Doc, what can I do to be more sexy? Wow. Yeah, that's Captain the thing. Captain Brian, you are asking that question. Right? I mean, right? seriously. Seriously, you know all the answers to that, of course. I no, mean, here's the thing. I got, I got a message. Uh, there was a girl that read this article. Yeah. She said, um, I just read this really funny article. And it was about, it was 10 things that you could do to be more attractive to the opposite sex. Sure. So I started looking at this and, and thinking, and then the articles keep going. You yeah. go from one to the yeah. next, to yeah. the next, yeah. to the next. Yeah. And, I and need they, a real and scoop, have, Doc. And, and they have different angles, and I read those articles too. And, and what Captain Brian and I, we did, we summarized those articles, and we took what made sense to us. What, what you, you know, on all these articles, what was the common denominator there? So th the first thing that they jump into all of them was confidence. Yeah. Both men and women like people with confidence. That's okay. Right. But before we go into the 12 reasons that we have what how to become sexier, how to become more confident. I want to know what your 12 how, are. And you know, then I'll tell you what some we'll, of mine. We'll, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. We'll, compare, we'll yeah. compare them right here on the show. And at the end, there's a vote. Guys, you can, can okay. vote as well. Okay. We like so that. So let's talk a little bit, uh, Captain Brian. You know, this is a scientific show as well as with a sense of humor. Let's talk about the biology of being sexy. Right. You, you know, this this started, you know, when we were cavemen, not long ago, about 70,000 years ago, we were cavemen. And what attracted men to women and what attracted women to men? So it was the same thing that we are talking about now. Women at that time looked at men and said, you know, I want a guy that will give me safety, will be able to protect me, will be able to feed my offspring, right. my kids, and will be able to run the show here, will give me confidence that he is going to go confident. And men look at women and says, you know what? I want somebody that the, her offspring are going to be all good offspring. So as much as we think about it as not politically correct, we all think the same way. We all think, you know what? Because we're genetically programmed to do so. Correct. This is by Biology. This, you cannot say politically correct or incorrect to biology. Biology is biology. That's how human beings are attracted to each other. Now, it's true that with time, you know, the roles had reversed a little bit. More women are working now, so uh, we are not looking for a guy that is going to be just muscular. We're looking for a guy that is going to be also smart and attractive from different angle and, and have different things. But this is the biology. So let's start one by one, and we'll talk about each one of them. Okay, let's start let's with, do it. Let's start with, you know, uh, you know, being confident about yourself, accepting who you are. Um, you know, it's a very important trait. I think, Captain Brian, you have that trait. You know who you are. You know you're not trying to change anything. You're not, you are very positive about it. And, and right. not thinking about, you know what, I wish I was taller. I wish I had green eyes or blue eyes. I don't have brown eyes. And you know what, I'm proud of those brown eyes. I'm not trying to look at what's bad about me or what I wish it was different. I am who I am and I'm very comfortable and confident about that. And you can't be over the top. You cannot be over the top, no. right? You just You're, have to be confident with everything, even your walk. That's right. It's a different walk, right? Absolutely. Did you read this? I read about Absolutely. the walk. I read the about that. The girls have a different walk where they sway their hips. Yes. And the guys, they have to sway their shoulders. Right. And you can't fold your arms. You got to be more open. I always tell my staff, open your arms, open, let the people come in. If you fold your arms, that means you're closed off. You're not going to talk. You know, Captain Brian did all his research from Cosmopolitan magazine. <laughs> I did it from the New England Journal of Medicine. Safety. It's a little different, Safety. but that's okay. It's, it's more or less the same thing. Hello. But most people do read Cosmopolitan magazine. They don't read the New England Journal of Medicine. Right. So a, 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 another thing is get a little bit out of your comfort zone. You know, we always, you know, when you want to feel sexier, you have to change things a little bit. For women, I always say, you know what? Put a different lingerie. Put a little G-string. Put a little matching, you know, bra and underwear. Make it... Make it yeah, go sexy. with a matching set, ladies. Damn it. A matching <laughs> set is a key, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Men, we love the matching sets. We say, wow, she puts effort into that. She didn't wear it's like It's not a, always just the set. It's the fact that she took the time that, to do that's it, right? right? That's right. That's yeah. right. And, and she smells a little good. And guys, the same thing. Don't be shy about putting some cologne, so putting some perfume, putting something. Yeah, wash your balls you know, too, right? Yeah, wash, you... shave, trim. We did Nobody a whole podcast about that. Absolutely. So take care of yourself. Same with your face. I mean, 
you know, take care of it. You don't need to shave. You can look like, you know, a little bit uh, scruffy, but, but make sure you wash your face. Make sure if you have acne, take care of that. Make sure you put some moisturizer. Don't be, it doesn't mean it's not manly to put moisturizer. It is not manly to look all, you know, like a, 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 a turtle. Uh, so I, I think it's very trendy right now to be uh, to look metro. Up. Absolutely. Metro, Absolutely. yeah. I, think I mean, so. Captain Brian, you and I, we had done Botox before yep. on the show. We had That's done right. Botox before. As a matter of fact, I'm due for Botox again. And Same. I think you are yeah. here. Maybe next week All we're right. going to do it live. All right. We're going to do live Botox. And, you know, I put um, different uh, type of cream and lotion and ointment and on stuff on my face because when I look in the mirror, I say, wow, I feel great. I look good. I, you know, I wash my face. I take care of that. Why not? If it makes you feel better, you should do that. These and things will boost your confidence. Absolutely. They will boost your inner Absolutely. ego. Absolutely. Yeah. So same thing with eating and then you, right and, and then you reap that. You let people, people know that. Absolutely. They it, feel it's, it. It's contagious. Yeah. It's contagious in a good way. So eating well, exercising, all these things make you feel sexy. Why? Because, you know, you feel like, wow, I'm on top of the world. I'm, I have endorphin in the system. I have good, good habits in my system. And what do you think about being flirtatious? Captain Brian. I think that if it depends on I was reading now yeah uh, in personal experience yes. I like I, I like a little touchy-feely kind of situation yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes me understand that yes. they're more interested yes I don't like standoffish yes uh, me but too. I, so I like to understand it maybe a little touch I, like, I like when they move their hair I cannot yeah. move my hair but I like when they the girls move I their read hair. that the nod the nod is one of the most sexy <laughs> things you could do and a little touch with know? the hand yeah, a little bit the there, nod. but I don't like when they overdo it yeah. So I, I I like the secretive part. The same what about the when dress. she like holds your arm and like snuggles in the car and you're trying to drive? It's a little she's too much. Over in a your little side. too much. Too, too much. Too much. Yeah. A little too, but I want just a little bit. So from time to time a hand touch. Yeah. But that's about it. But don't go over over the top. What about her hand on your knee? Can she do that? I like that the very much. Now knee? you're talking, okay. Captain okay. Brian. Now you're talking. All right. she'll, so she'll, 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 that way she's telling you like, okay, honey, I'm here for you. I got right. you. And, I like it. And you know, women also they look at the 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 guy's voice also don't try to change your voice the voice it is what it is but obviously they are more attracted to guys with a little deeper voice right you know the, the so baby talk isn't a, isn't a thing no not attractive <laughs> at all baby talk so, no baby talk ladies you know, no baby talk gentlemen voice, keep if you it have real the voice of Morgan Freeman or 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 James Earl Jones you know that's obviously very attractive yeah. okay uh, so so that's that's extremely important eye contact eye contact and a smile is key I mean for me a girl can be gorgeous and if she does not smile and does not have eye contact and she doesn't have expression yeah, the resting on her face, bitch face that's always a deal breaker absolutely oh that girl's so pretty but why is her face always so pissed off that's tell right. your face how happy you are with absolutely. me and those someone's girls, gotta know those girls don't understand why guys are not attracted to them right now we explain to them change that that takes a, a 10 on that face that takes a 10 to down to a, a six and a half a, a four and a then four. a six and a half to a, a ten if right. she if she's good absolutely. at it absolutely absolutely a little smile a little eye contact and all of a sudden wow she's right. gorgeous yeah then they wonder all these pretty girls are wondering why the not right. so pretty right. girls yeah are having all the guys oh jen jenna's a bitch she's got this guy that guy that's that right. guy what's that's up with right. her that's right then they get pissed off by the way jen is not a real person no, i don't want them, i don't want people to think I that just... jen is a real person <laughs> no no no, no just, just made, up, it up. made right. up person made up person so again women and men like but especially women like men that chase their dreams that main men that are very passionate about what they do they look at you captain brian and if you are doing the vodka and you're doing the spirits and you're doing the club and you're doing this and you're doing podcasts you are on top of things you are persistent you are you are hanging in there you are you're following your dreams yeah. your dream was to to have a, a captain brian vodka you did it Boom. your dream was was to have an, a club you did it your your dream was to have a podcast you did it you're on the radio you are here you're there you are very passionate you got to be active and then you know what that is mm -hmm. i think that that also is a little bit of mysteriousness right because then they want to know oh what's he doing next yes. how's he doing he's busy like, does I, he have time for me right? right the girls the same thing like girls don't make yourself so available 24 hours a day that you're just there right even if you have shit to do right. act like you got something to do right because the guy is gonna like it more absolutely. when he's trying to get we, your time pursue. absolutely we need that yeah. we need that absolutely the chase i mean we were born again That's it's right. biology this is the end it's in our dna and um, you know we started by talking about being smart and witty 
you know, part of the reason why we have this podcast because we want to educate people about different things. We talk about, you name it, we talk about this podcast. And, and, and if you have more topics, you can DM us, you can message us in, leave a comment, do whatever you want absolutely. to get a hold of us, guys. We're pretty easy to get a hold of, especially if you're watching us now on Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is. Send us your, uh, your suggestions. Absolutely. We'll listen. And the advantage is when you listen to these little things, you have a topic of conversation. When somebody mentions something, you say, you know what? I heard about the statistics that of divorce is so it's 50% after the first right. marriage and after the six, uh, second marriage is 64%. It's, it, yeah. You know, you don't even need, need to give us credit for that. You know what? You you get the credit for that. But the fact that you're listening, that we give you the credit for being more witty, for being smart. Guys are attracted for women that are smart. We have some people watching. Yanni, how are you? Keith, Casey, these guys watch all the time. Thank you so much Thank for tuning in much. on the Captain's Log. Dr. Dollar's telling us how to be sexy. We're going to be sexy, <laughs> sexy, sexy by so, the end of this. So being being witty, being smart is very sexy. Women are attracted to those guys. Guys are attracted to women to, that are smarter. Now, every girl that listens to the podcast says, you know, but the guys are attracted to girls with long legs and, and high booties and big yeah. tits and all this stuff. Yeah. But you know what? If you're looking for somebody for the long run, if you're looking, guys that are looking for a girl for the long run, we are looking for more serious relationship, not just a hookup. You know, I always give the, you know, the story about you, Grant, and Elizabeth Hurley. Okay. You know, you, you, you I, I know, don't you, know the story, but so I'm gonna you, you, Grant, but I think you're going to tell me. You, Grant, a movie, a mo okay. movie, a movie star, very famous, yeah. was dating in 1995, Elizabeth Hurley, probably the most beautiful girl on earth. Okay. She was, a, you know, the Victoria's Secret model, amazing girl. He was caught with a hooker in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, I remember. Her name was uh, Divine Brown, the name of the hooker. Yeah. It's amazing the things I yeah, know. exactly. You know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> you know, go Wait, figure. you know the name or you know the hooker? Which the, one? Name the, hooker oh, the name of the hooker. Oh, just the name of the hooker. The hooker. Okay, I, mean, I, I, I never met the hooker. I, got I never met the hooker. Oh, which one but that's the things that we know. Yeah. So he was dating, and that just tells you that beauty goes away, but your personality does not. That's okay. correct. 10 years from now, you know, you may have a few wrinkles. We can fix it with Botox. But overall, your personality, if you have a charming personality, if you have a great disposition, the way, what is disposition? The way you present yourself, the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you breathe, the way people look at you and they have positive energy. They're saying, wow, she is sexy. Or same with guys. Yeah. If you have a great disposition, That's right. you present yourself with confidence. You know what you're talking about. People want to hang out with you. He is a sexy guy. That's and, very, very attractive. And speaking of people hanging out with you, from what I understand and what I read, you know, my Cosmo journal, right? <laughs> of course. Uh, of understand course. Cosmo. <laughs> that the more people that you associate with and have around you, apparently that makes you more attractive. Yeah, yeah. It, depends. it depends. If you are if you are uh, associated with, only with criminals in the jail, I mean, well, I'm not we're sure. not talking about <laughs> the gang bangers. <laughs> right, right. We're talking if, about if you have a nice ring of friends yes. and they're affluent Di and they're uh, and diverse. Know, well respected and, and diverse, then that makes you diversity also makes you attractive. This ah. guy is not just hooking up with his friends are not yeah, only hook up those, with everybody. those people give in the Polo Club. Give I know you, you know the people chance. from the Polo Club in Naples. <laughs> no. We go also to, you know, the people that play basketball, and right. I know some guys, and I know an accountant, and I know an attorney, and yeah, I know ladies, a carpenter. Yeah, ladies, give all these guys a chance, That's damn right. it. Everybody deserves a chance. Yeah. Everybody deserves right. a chance. The next topic, Captain Brian, and I know you, you, it's important for you, is dress properly. You oh, know, I got clean. a good one. I've read a lot about this. Yeah, go ahead. Red. Red. <laughs> red, right? If you wear red, you're more attractive. Wow, I didn't know that. You didn't know that. No, I didn't ah, know that. I got I, I rarely wear red, red with, really. Red means that you are, you, it, it makes you more attractive to the opposite sex. If you're a woman and you wear red, you're very confident and sexy. If you're okay. a man and you wear red, it just means that you wear red. No, no, really. Honestly, it means that the girls think you're more attractive. Really? I didn't yes, know that. I, yes. I, I rarely, red is a, I never wear a red way. I only wear, my all my t-shirts are black. I read this about the red. Yeah. And then I said, damn, I only have like one thing red. Yeah. So I need to bump need up to, my well, red. Now, you know what? Now I'm going to go to Lululemon. Yeah. I'm going to buy all the red stuff. Everything. All the red t-shirts. That's a thing now, they say. Um, so another thing that, that what women are attracted to and what men are attracted to, kind people. And I know you have that in your heart because I met your parents and the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's right. You know, being I, kind, My parents are way kinder than me, though. I don't know. About, I, I, you <laughs> they're know, way I, nicer I, than you me. You know, I, I can tell you, 
being kind without expectation of something. So you don't expect, you are, you are nice. I met you for the first time. I remember when I met you, you were nice and you didn't expect anything in return. I wasn't your doctor and nope. you didn't want anything from me. You were just genuinely nice. And that's attractive when guys are like that and when girls are like that. It's you know, very, you know, very sexy. You know how this works? I read this again in all of my amazing <laughs> medical <course>. journals, <laughs> the background that I read. This is what they said. This yeah. is exactly what they said. Yeah. If you walk by somebody who's begging for money mm -hmm. and you don't give them the money, yeah. you are going to be only more attracted to, uh, the women are only going to be more attracted to you if they want to bang you. If they want to love you and date you, they will only be attracted to you if you give them the money. Really? Did you know that? No. So being kind is something, yeah. but it depends on what kindness but, is. But you know, I, I like I like kindness that you don't, you know, some of these kindness, you, that you get the That was a study reward. I read. That's interesting, a study, <laughs> you know. Uh, in, I didn't do the study, I read the study. There was only two participants in the study, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's very scientific. He hates all my, every time I hear something good to say, he hates the Self fact magazine. that I know something. So, so, and I agree with kindness. It's I, I find it very, very attractive. I find both men and women that do things without right. asking. You know, without yep. uh, w there's no here. You know, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. Yep. You know what? I'll be nice no matter what. Whatever happens, happens. Let's. You know what? You you mentioned that a minute ago. Let's talk about sense of humor. I find women and men with sense of humor very very attractive absolutely I, the more I, witty and fast yes, and quick they can yes, come with comebacks uh, yes the more i want to yes. be uh engaged with them i i find girls that laugh at my jokes very attractive so I no. <laughs> <laughs> when they laugh at my that's jokes right, that's exactly right. <laughs> if they don't goodbye that's right you know, hey, no, this no, is all over. i got, I got i'm giving you my best material <laughs> that's today right. that's and if right. you're not happy with it that's right. you're not gonna get any more this is my egg Material. That's right. So, so I, I, you know, and girls are attracted to guys that that make them laugh. Uh, so, uh, you know, they don't want a comedian per se, but they want guys that will put a smile on their face. Uh, so, I, I find it also very, very attractive. And Casey says a sense of humor, intelligence, and confidence is all you need. And Yanni says, "Where's my money? Too many guys owe me money. <laughs> Give it back to me." My goodness, who's giving you? Who's taking your money, girl? You better tell oh. them. Captain Brian, another thing that uh, that I, I looked in several articles was integrity. Uh, both men and women are looking for somebody that is genuine, that uh, that is, uh, you know, they respect other the other sex. They uh, they for men to respect women, for women to have respect for what you do. Yep. And again, no matter what you do for a living, you can be the janitor or That's you can right. be the president. You can be a senator or you can be, a, I, I don't know what, a, a, a car washer. No matter what you do, if you have respect, you know what? That's, that goes a long that's way. That's a long, Absolutely. Goes, goes a long way. Integrity and respect is everything. Yes. I see that as well in women that I date. If I'm not attracted to the things that they actually hold uh, values in, eh, it's not so much. Right. I, I completely agree. I completely agree. Anything else in your uh, deep, uh, you know, uh, research? <laughs> yeah, well, okay, so you, uh, <laughs> uh, the smell, you mentioned yes, that they yes, have to yes. definitely groom, right? Yes, yes. I noticed that that's a big one that everyone's attracted to. And, and, and again, a little cologne, you know, you yeah. smell good, not over the top, just a little bit. It's it's uh, ab absolutely very manly. I want you to understand that, very manly. Uh, I what, read, do you use cologne, Captain Brian? I do, bit? I do. I have which a, one do you? Use? I actually have a right now. I'm doing I'm doing a Chanel. Okay. But I have a whole repertoire. Okay. I have about eight. Okay. And most of the time, I still go back to the, <laughs> the Chanel. Chanel. Sure. But I have a I have a whole bunch. Yes. Yeah, I do. I do different different sure. stuff sure. depending sure. on what I wear. Sure. But normally, my day my day scent is uh, is the Chanel. Okay. Very nice. And, it's, and it seems to work. Sure. I haven't had a lot of complaints. No. I know, right? It's not a repellent. Uh, yeah, it's no, not a it's repellent. Good. It's good. <laughs> uh, what else did I learn? I learned a lot today. I learned that uh, we talked about the confidence, right? right? The, the the walk. Right. That's very important. Right. Uh, the the mystery was a good one yes. because I like that where you're not going to be as open and available all the time. Yeah. That's for some reason is 
one that really reels pe- guys in. Right. Right? The guys want to know, okay, what's she doing? She's so damn busy. Right. And then, and then another one I found very interesting yeah. is that you're not the only one playing the same game. Right. Oh, you have other options. So what, what do you mean by that? It means that the girl, a, a girl, yeah. in order, I read the article, yeah. how to keep a guy, the 15 hottest tricks to keep a guy. Okay. And she said, and one of them was, let the other guy know that there's a couple other, you know, guys courting her. Not so, a, it's so com- not a little competition. Yes, this is at the start. I, you know what? At the start, I, I, at the opening, at the beginning, yeah. at the beginning, a little competition. You know, you you bump the, your your game up. You you right. have more game. You have you put more effort. I like that. Yeah, that's I like a, that. That's, but later on, I don't like that. No, no, no. Later this on, is, I mean, hey, this, I mean, is, this is a. This is how to get them hooked. Yes. Once you get them hooked, you right. better figure out something to keep them. How to keep it right. on the on the on what the line? About, keep the line tight. What about sex? Uh, and how soon? Because I, I read a couple of different wow, ones. Wow, that's a whole podcast. But, You're right, now talking but, about the podcast. But that's when a you're great topic for the girl in when, or the when, guy, when you got to reward him with something. Yes. You got to show the guy that yes. you like him, right? Yes. You, yes. No matter, you know, if you like him and you're interested, yes. after a certain point, you got to tell him so somehow you, so that you're interested, so right? Your question is after how many dates yeah. if you, they don't. I, both sides. I, this is not happening. It's not open. only sexual intercourse. You got to kiss. You yeah, got to. Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah. do things. Well, that other things. Other he things. knows or she knows yes. that you're gonna be. You know, this there, is gonna a, be going there, somewhere. There, yes. we're, we're making it work. Yes, yeah. Yes. How long? I think. I think the first date has to end with some fourth form of a kiss, at least. Yeah, because there was two. There was a few different articles. Some said. Leave it, leave it open. Show them you're very attractive. Flirt, do a lot of flirting, and but at the th- end, <laughs> cut it short. And I'm thinking, eh, I feel then like uh, I didn't do bit. so well. I, I agree. I, I, and I then would I, feel, as a I would guy, feel I would way. feel like ah. I would feel. You know what? You know what? A little kiss, it's okay. Yeah. But and after the second date or the third date, we want to get more serious. Right. But it, but then but then you have the women that say on the dates, oh. I don't sleep with guys in the first day, the first few dates, because they never, you know, then they don't think it's serious. I don't think that guys I, think that way. I don't think we think that way. I don't way. Think, I, that, we, think that way we, at all. Not at all. As a matter of fact, we don't judge according to how quickly we had sex with that. Yeah, I've never person. judged like that. And, and it doesn't matter if you are marriage material or not marriage. We judge according to your personality, sure. We judge according to how witty you are, sure. We judge according to everything we talked about. Right. But none of these says how quickly we had sex with you. Yeah. Whether it was the first night or after 10 nights, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. As a matter of fact, most the chances are that this, the guy will stick with you if you are not having sex with him after 10, 10, 10 dates. It's unlikely. It's zero. It's make you zero. <laughs> <laughs> zero. No, I'm going to tell Captain you now. The chance no, of that zero. Is, is zero. That's correct. Yeah. Because it makes you, uh, hey, what's going on here? Where are we going? Correct. Uh, but we are not uh, 15 years well, old. Well, dating's freaking expensive, time-consuming, <laughs> exhausting. No, you want to see it's if, you are, if you have complete got, chemistry, if you have you that got, complete package. You got kids, you got families uh, that you're leaving, you got all kinds of stuff going I, on. You're I making like, a commitment to I like the statistics. Days. It's zero. There's zero. Yeah, zero, <laughs> zero chance. <laughs> zero chance. And you're right. Zero yeah. chance. After 10 dates, I mean, if it's going nowhere, it's going nowhere. I'm this giving it less than 50% after three dates of five. Me too. If there's nothing really happening I after agree. three dates, sayonara. I agree. So I, if and you want to keep someone, guys and girls, right. I suggest that you let them know. Right. right? It, it's the same with fishing. You go to a spot and, and you get no bites, no bites, no yeah, bites. You're no going to leave the spot. I know. Go, spot let's every go day. somewhere else. Let's you know what somewhere. the results are going to be. That's Saragis. What nothing. <laughs> right? <laughs> nothing. That's what happens. That's right. All right, guys. I hope we uh, I hope we had fun with this topic. I hope you enjoyed it. We definitely it. had fun. I know it was a good time fun. for me. We had fun. <laughs> if we left some things out, let us know. Let right. us know what worked for you. Right. If you got a trick that you always use and that gets that guy or gets that girl, drop it in the comments because I want to know. Right. We want these tricks. We want to share it with everybody right. that watches the Captain's Log and let everybody know. They're not going to use your trick on your girl. They're going to use it on different people. So don't worry about it. Share the wealth, right? Absolutely. Captain Brian, let's, let's, let, we recommend that you share three or four things that you think makes people yeah. sexy on the other gender. Yeah. Um, uh, so let us know us. what those things are, right? 